Have you ever considered how a single faulty component in a car could jeopardize its entire functionality? In the world of manufacturing, especially in the automotive industry, precision isn't just an option, it's a requirement. This is where production part approval process or PPAP documents become crucial. They are the backbone of ensuring every part meets its design specifications and can be produced reliably at scale. Firstly, the design records. This document lists all specifications and materials for a part. It's essentially the blueprint that guides the entire manufacturing process. Next, we have the authorized engineering change documents. These are necessary when any modification has been made to the part after the initial design. It ensures that all changes are approved and documented. The engineering approval is where the rubber meets the road. This includes the initial sample inspected and approved by the customer and engineering to ensure it meets all specified requirements. The Design Failure Mode and Effects Analysis or DFMEA explores potential failure modes for the product based on design. It helps identify possible errors before they occur, saving time and resources. The Process Flow Diagram provides a detailed map of the manufacturing process. This diagram is vital for understanding the sequence of production steps and ensuring they are planned efficiently. The Process Failure Mode and Effects Analysis or PFMEA is similar to DFMEA but focuses on the manufacturing process. It identifies potential failures in the production cycle. The Control Plan lists all quality tests and inspections and when they occur. It's a critical document for maintaining the quality of the production process. We also have the Measurement System Analysis, which assesses the accuracy and precision of the measurement instruments used to evaluate component quality. The Dimensional Results document is straightforward. It contains measurements of the produced parts to verify they meet design specifications. The records of material and performance tests show that the materials used comply with all required specifications and regulations. Initial process studies, another key document, typically includes statistical process control methods that demonstrate the production process's capability and stability. Qualified laboratory documentation is up next. It provides proof that the lab evaluating the part meets all required standards and is competent to assess the part's specifications. The appearance approval report is for components where aesthetics are as critical as functionality. It ensures parts visually meet design requirements. Sample production parts are physical examples produced using the intended production methods. They serve as a benchmark for full production. The master sample retains as a reference point. It's a sample approved by all parties against which all mass-produced parts are evaluated. Checking aids include gauges, templates or other tools used to assess parts against specifications. Lastly, we have customer-specific requirements, ensuring that any additional client-specific needs are met. Records retention and part submission warrant wrap up the list. The former involves keeping all PPAP documents for a defined period, while the latter is the formal submission of the PPAP to the customer, summarizing the documentation and declaring that all specifications are met. In conclusion, these 18 PPAP documents form a rigorous framework that underpins the manufacturing process, ensuring quality, reliability and safety in automotive manufacturing. They not only help in making a product that meets the high standards, but also in building trust with customers by ensuring consistency and compliance in production. The meticulous detail and oversight they provide make them indispensable in the world of manufacturing.